Before you start making the batter, make sure you've got some oil heating in a tin in the oven because you want that really hot. Now I've got some plain flour here, so we need half a teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of table salt. Next I'm going to add some beaten eggs. For the full recipe, just click on the link. And just a little bit of my milk. I'm going to add it quite gradually so we get a nice smooth batter. At the beginning you might like to use a wooden spoon just to beat out any lumps. Now some recipes use all milk and some recipes use all water, but I find half and half gives the best results. So in we go with the water. We've got a really nice smooth batter now. You can leave it to rest if you've got time, that just helps the starch just to soften a little, but if you haven't, you can cook it straight away. And now for the hot tin. And once you take it out of the oven, you need to work really quickly. Just swirl the oil around and then pour that batter in. And then straight back into the oven for 30 minutes and don't open the door until it's done. And once your Yorkshire pudding is cooked through and deep golden, you're ready to serve. For more lovely recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.